Hello, I'm Annie Haas. You can find me on Instagram as at this.bird.knits. You can also find my designs on Ravelry. I'm this bird knits, all one word. And today I'm gonna do a quick tutorial about a new shawl design that I'm working on. And this is a um, marled shawl where the body of the shawl is marled. And then there is a double knit, i.e. reversible panel of color work down the center of the shawl. So I um, am using three balls of yarn for this design. I'm using All Sugar Plum Circus yarns. This is her Merino DK. This colorway is called Nightshade. And then I'm also using the DK in Dianthus. And then I'm also using her Mohair Lace also in Dianthus. So these are my three balls of yarn that I'm juggling for this design. And for the body of the shawl, the garter stitch section, I'm holding the mohair together with the darker nightshade colorway to create this really pretty kind of glowing marl. And then when I get to the color work panel, I actually switch and I hold the nightshade, the darker color alone, and I hold the two dianthus strands together for a more stark contrast for the color work. So I'm going to show you how I juggle these three balls of yarn between the garter stitch panel and the, um, or I'm sorry, the garter stitch wings of the shawl and that center double knit color work panel. Um, so I've worked my row up to the center panel. So I've been holding the mohair together with the lace, or I'm sorry, the mohair together with the darker color, DK. And I've gotten to my center stitch marker here, so I'm gonna slip my stitch marker. And this first stitch, I'm gonna work holding all three yarns together. This is my way of just kind of incorporating that um, DK, that third D strand of DK over here. So I'm gonna grab all three strands of yarn and I'm going to work this first stitch as a double knit stitch. So I'm going to knit this first stitch here and then I'm going to purl the next stitch. So this is essentially what you do for all double knitting. Um, you're basically knitting on both sides of your fabric. So what this does is you're gonna be um, working each stitch twice and then it creates the reverse effect on the opposite side. So for example, this first stitch, I'm gonna knit this first stitch here to create this niche or this knit column here. And then I'm gonna purl this next stitch, which gives me a mirror opposite color knit stitch on the other side. So I'm gonna show you how I juggle my yarn. I like to kind of move my balls around here at this point, so I've I'm separating out my darker color here. So now I'm gonna be holding my two light colors together in one hand, and then I like to hold continental style my other color over here. Actually, I like to swap it so the stitch that I'm purling, I'm gonna hold in my continental or my left hand. So this first stitch I'm gonna knit. So we'll knit with the darker colorway. And then this is a really important step. You need to move your yarn from the stitch that you just knit into the front of your work and then I'm going to purl that next stitch and then you can move both of your yarns to the back of your knitting and then for this next column I need to knit the stitch in the same color so I'm going to knit that first stitch and then I need to bring both of my yarns to the front of my work and I'm gonna purl that next stitch. Move both of my yarns to the back, and then this next stitch I also need to knit in the pink color. So I'm going to knit, I'm going to move both of my yarns to the front of my work, and I'm gonna purl in the darker color. Move both of my yarns to the back. I'm gonna show you how I do that holding both yarns in one hand too. This definitely is a technique that takes a little bit of practice. 
but it's really, really fun once you get the hang of it. And I love the way that it creates a really thick, squishy, reversible color work panel. Um, so it's really, really a fun technique. So I'm gonna show you a few more times how I do that. So we're working nine stitches in the dianthus, the pink colorway across here. So I've done two so far. So I'm gonna show you the rest. So we're gonna knit the first stitch in the pink like so, pull both of my yarns to the front and purl with the nightshade or the darker color. Move both yarns to the back. I'll show you again. Knit with the pink, both yarns to the front, purl with the darker color. Move both yarns to the back. Knit with the pink, move to the front, purl with the dark. It takes a little bit of practice to do this one-handed. I hold my yarn like this. I separate the two um, strands that I'm working with with a finger in the middle to keep them apart. That makes it easier to use my left-hand needle to either knit or purl the stitch. So again, I'm holding my yarns kind of separate like so. We're gonna knit and then move both my yarns to the front and purl. Both yarns to the back, knit. Both yarns to the front, purl. Knit. Both yarns to the front, and purl. So again, it takes a little bit of practice, and I honestly like to knit both English um, and continental, so I throw and I knit continental style, and I, with all of my knitting, I go back and forth, sometimes even in the same row or round with what, whatever technique I feel like using at that moment. Um, so now the center stitch, I'm gonna switch colors. So instead of knit, knitting another pink one on this side, I'm going to knit with the dark. So again, I'm just gonna use my finger to separate Bring that dark around, knit. Bring both of my yarns to the front. And purl with the pink. And then I'm gonna switch back to using the pink as kind of the more dominant color on this side. And I'll show you doing that like a throwing style, or I'm sorry, a continental style too. So we're gonna slide that yarn over into my left hand. I'm gonna knit. Bring both yarns to the front, purl the darker color. Both yarns to the back. Knit, both yarns to the front, purl. Both yarns to the back. Knit with the pink, both yarns to the front, purl with the dark. Both yarns to the back. Knit with the pink, both yarns to the front, purl with the dark. So we're just gonna do that across the row. Into the last one here. And then for this last stitch, it's gonna be a column of dark, so I'm gonna switch and knit with the dark and purl with the pink. And now I'm in my last stitch, so I'm gonna hold all three yarns together and I'm gonna double knit this last stitch. So I'm gonna knit the first stitch, purl the next stitch, slip my marker. At this point, I'm gonna drop that strand of the pink or the dianthus colorway DK and I'm gonna go back to my two color marl. Um, for this part, I like to, once I separate these yarns, I like to kind of make sure if anything's tangled, I take a minute to um, get my yarns untangled here. And then I actually like to take my, my um, yarn that I'm just using in the center panel and actually move it out of the way. I'll actually like pull it to the front of my work and just put it like in my lap or out of the way here so that I can continue 
knitting, holding just these two together for my marl. So now I'm going to do my increase for the shawl shaping. And then I'm just gonna knit away for that marl. And then I'll flip it over and show you what our color work looks like. So there's that side. And here's our reverse side. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Again, if this technique feels frustrating to you at first, please stick with it. It's super fun once you get the hang of it. And who doesn't love a reversible color work hand knit? All right, thanks for tuning in. Happy knitting.